how to create a secondary navigation in Squarespace. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a secondary navigation into your Squarespace website. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over squarespace.com. Then you need only to sign up for an account on the platform. And as you can see here, it is my account. So I am going to click on it. Then I am going to access the account dashboard. Click on it and boom. A little disclaimer, guys. Everything created in this video, such as email account and also here accounts are created for the sake of the video and not for any personal usage. So make sure to use your own information. Now we are on the dashboard as you can see, or the site's dashboard, we only need to choose one of the website that we own. If you don't have a website, it is very easy to create one. So you are going to click on create website and then you are going to set up the type of the website and etc. So make sure to, that you are going to use the right type of the website. Then you're going to choose only the template. Now here, once you have done that, you're going to visit or go to the website that you have or you want and get the intention to add the uh, secondary navigation to it. So we are going to wait for the website to load up. As you can see, we are on the website dashboard. So here is going to be all the configuration that are necessary for your website. This is the home page of our website. So the first thing that we need to do is to click on edit. Now, once you are on edit, you're going to see here the navigation. This is the first or the primary navigation that we have. You are going simply to click on edit site or edit the header to make the things here appearing. So you cannot drag and drop these elements freely like that, but you can go ahead and modify, for example, here the title or the logo. For example, for the title, I'm going to put here Jacks here, uh, Jacks, for example, or Jack Smith, for example. This is the logo. Let's say instead of a logo or an image, we are going to put only the site title. Here we have the navigation. You can modify it by setting up or reordering here the item. For example, here we have the first thing we are going to put store. Here we have, you can sh show all the pages right there. So we are going to see here the navigation. So we are going to put here Jack Smith again, because we didn't save. And this is a problem that we do all the time. We forget to save. So here we are going to click on edit design. And now we are going to see the layout of the navigation. So let's go ahead and let's check the layout. Here we have the second or the first one. The second one here, the third one, and here we have some limitation within the logo. Let's say that I'm going to create a second navigation or a secondary navigation about here, for example, the logo at the middle and for the menu items, I want to spread it to at the left. For example, we have four. Let's say that we have four or we have five like this. Let's spread, for example, two at the left and three at the right of the logo or something like that. So I am basically going to make the logo at the middle, but here the menu items are going to be spread left and right. So we cannot do that in this uh, here primary uh, navigation. So we are going to set up this with a code. So how we can do that, we are going to save the uh, here, uh, the changes that we've made. We're going to exit. Now we are going back to this one. Now we are going to the styles here for the styles or we are not going to the styles, but we are going to modify something else. So go ahead right there to the pages, click on pages. Now we are going to drop down or scroll down a little bit until we see here website tools. Then we're going to see here all the tools that are available for our website. We are going to set up or click on custom CSS. Now. We are going to add a code and here we have the code. So I'm going to simply to select it all. 
then this is the name of the code it is called secondary navigation so we are going simply to paste that code right there and we are going to see here that it is set right away so i'm going first to delete that code because here we have the menu right there so i'm going to put the jack smith here at the middle so it will work here when the menu is going to be at the middle and for the here pages let's go ahead and see here uh if we need to add those so i'm going to uh leave here now let's go ahead and modify a page so i'm going to uh here delete the store so i will make something here much simpler so we are going to click on here website tools again custom css put up here the code and boom here we have it so look at this here we have the uh, menu right there or the logo right there at the middle we have two objects or two items of the menu here at the left side and two at the right side if i made a three we are going to add a three here or two here or etc you can modify this code by seeing here the values then you are going to modify them for example for the index we've made it 100 let's say that we are going to put it here 50 and see if it is going to be modified until here we have nothing so we are going to leave it here 100 here we have for example the margin right it is a 50 we are going to make it maybe 70 and see here we have like this one so we are going to move it or put it back to 50 here we have the height and also the margin top here we have the width you can go ahead and modify the width to 60 percent so you can go ahead and see here that we have made a major here um, modification to the code so you can go ahead and play around and modify here the element of the code you can put also three three here you can go ahead and add six elements but don't forget to not overdo it because the most here a part that you are going to add the menu items the most it is not going to be working correctly so you're going to need here to remove for example smith uh, put it only jack then you're going to gain uh, some space to the left and to the right then you're not going to make things on top of each other that was for the code so all you need to do is to click on save then you are going back right there so as you can see here for a modification it is fully modifiable or editable so you are going to edit here you are not going to see here the logo but you are going only to see the element here the logo is a part of the navigation as you can see and the title also so you can go ahead and modify the navigation but if you want to remove that you're only going to head over the custom css then you are going to select all of this remove it boom so you are going to see here the uh, code right away so you are going to click on delete here we have the normal version of it we have the navigation and we have the site title that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one